Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the area of a 30, 30, 120 degree triangle. So let's say that this is a triangle and so this is a 120 degree thing, the 120 uh, degree angle. And then each of these is 30 degrees. So this is known as an isosceles triangle when two sides are equal. Uh, and it can be three sides as well but not one side right? because one side will always be equal to the same side. So anyway, this is um, our triangle. And let's say that we're just given that one of these sides is S and now we need to find the area of the triangle. It might seem difficult because you're only given one of the side lengths and um, in case this is like confusing, I just rewrite it because it looks a bit like a 5. So I'll just like, write it again. S. Okay, so just, uh, I'll just call that S. And so the first thing we can notice, this side is uh, opposite to, 30 sides, to the 30 degree side here. And so this side must be equal to this side, right? That's just a property of uh, isosceles triangles. When you have two equal angles, the sides opposite them will be congruent, which means they'll have the same length. So if this is S, this also must be S. And uh, well, now how do we go on from this? Well, we need to find the area, right? So the area is equal to the base times the height over two. And right now we don't have the base and the height. Like we can't multiply this and this and then divide by two. That won't give us the area because the base and the height, they need to be perpendicular. So the base is perpendicular to the height, which means that they form 90 degrees uh, with each other, like this and this, so if this is 90 degrees. So those two are then perpendicular. Okay, so that's what we need to do. And what if we draw a line through this? Because then that line would be perpendicular to this. Right, so let's draw this perpendicular line here. And because it's perpendicular, as I just said, this has to be 90 degrees. And now, in a triangle, all the angles sum up to 180 degrees, right? This entire triangle, 30, 30, and 120, they add up to 180. But even this smaller triangle, uh, oops, just ignore that, 30, 90, this has to be some angle so that they add up to 180. And so this angle is 60 degrees. And then similarly, it's the exact same on this side, this is also 60 degrees. So now we've broken this into two other uh, into two triangles, which will make our job a bit easier. Okay, now we can use some of our ratios to figure out the rest of the stuff. So let's see, if this is S, one second. Uh, sorry, if this is S, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and one of the most important ratios that you learn. Uh, so the, the, the ratios between the sides in a 30, 60, 90 triangle our S, so like if the biggest side is S, the hypotenuse is S, this will be S over 2, so half uh, half as much as that, and this will be S root 3 over 2. Okay, so this is just uh, one ratio to remember. And now, let's call this our base, so this entire thing, this, uh, uh, but okay, it's a bit messy, but this is our base, and then this line over here, this is our height. Does this work? Like, is this one to satisfy formula? Yes, because this is the base of the triangle and this is the height. Like, this and this, completely wrong. If this was 90, it would work, but it's 120 degrees, they aren't perpendicular. But these two are perpendicular, this is the entire bottom or the base, and this is the height. And uh, so let's try to figure it out now. We know that this is S root 3 over 2. And then at this point, we know that these two are completely the same. Like, they're just like the same triangle, so they're congruent. Uh, and basically we know that this has the same side length, uh, same angle here, all the same angles, one same side length, so that's just uh, um, AAS I believe, right, yeah, AAS, which just, uh, it's just one of the um, things, one of the ways to prove congruence, but that's not too important right now. So basically these two triangles are the same, so this is also S root 3 over 2, which means the entire base is S root 3, because it's 2 times S. Now what is the height? That's S over 2. So we've got our formula. Now you might say, okay, so it's S root 3 times S root uh, S over 2 base times height divided by 2. There's no point in actually doing that because this is already base over 2, right? So if this entire thing is base, this is half of that. So this is base over 2 and this is the height. So if we do base over 2 times height, we immediately get base times height over 2, which is equal to the area. So just look at that once because next time I go there it will be covering that, uh, I think. So that's a, so all we need to do is multiply this by the height over there. And so that's pretty simple to do. S root 2 times S root 3 over 2. And what does this give us? 
but we can do that easily enough. Uh, we multiply the numerators first. S square root three divided by four. And so that's our final answer. If you are given a triangle like this, you don't always need to remember the ratio. Uh, I mean the formula for the area. And uh, oftentimes it's just easier to just do it yourself. But this is a formula that you might want to remember uh, in case it in case you need it later. Uh, but that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you want, you can try it with like other angled triangles, um, like 60, 60, 60, and equilateral triangle. That might be another fun one to try. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.